Hello everyone, I'm Kalina Spitfire and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have made a lot of videos on 7 Days to Die and modding 7 Days to Die and things like that. And one thing that I've realized that I haven't made is a video showing you how to modify something that already exists in the game. Um, for most of my mods, I'm making new entities or new things to, to create for the Twitch integration. And so that's what most people are doing. But in case you want to be able to mod something that already exists in the game, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, if you haven't already, definitely have uh, Notepad++ downloaded. It's a completely free thing. I have a link I'll post uh, to a video showing how to get that. It makes it a lot easier to mod these things. Um, and then also to get to your files, if you are in Steam, you can right click and go to manage and browse local files and that will pull up these. You probably won't have a mod folder unless you mod all the time and then it would be in there. Um, your data folder, config, and this is where you would find your regular files. Whatever file you're looking to modify, open that one up into, a, um, into Notepad++ like this. So I'm going to show a couple examples, entity classes and entity groups, just because entity classes is a weird one and it gives you a little bit of something to look for um, as something that's a common mistake. So I've opened those ones up. And then I also have created a mod file. Um, let me just show what that looks like. So if you are in the mod folder, I created this for today, editing an existing XML. You have a mod info, a config, just like other mods. Um, and you would of course have a file in here that's a different copy, not the same copy of the original, just renamed a blank copy that's called whatever it is that you're trying to edit. So if you're trying to edit the entity classes file, it would be entity classes.xml. If you're trying to edit the loot, it would be loot.xml, whatever you're trying to edit. And then you're going to open it up and it will look something like this. Um, so basically, you're gonna wanna have config at the top, just like this, and have this at the bottom of whatever you're editing. And in between, these are the things you want to change. So you need a separate file to, or a separate section changing um, anything that's brand new that you wanna add. But if you're changing stuff that already exists, you're setting the X path. So you're just setting a path that already exists to something else is basically what's happening. Um, and this one's a little bit funny because you might not think that this has an underscore because it doesn't in the file. But if you go to the very top of the file you're trying to edit, you see how in here, this file is labeled with an underscore. Um, it's because different people have touched it and like it's not always consistent if more than one person has been editing. So um, that's, this file is like that, whereas entity groups, for example, is all one word, it doesn't have the underscore. So whatever it says at the top, that is what you're going to put here. You're setting the X pack equals quotes, backslash, and then the name of that file that you're editing. And then you're going to edit the name of the particular thing that you want to edit. So in this case, I was changing um, the bags, well, boxes, um, for different Twitch drops. So pretty much every Twitch drop for Christmas season, I changed to be a red bag instead, kind of Christmassy um, instead of a box. And so what I did, we'll go in and we'll find this particular thing um, and go into entity classes, uh, control F to find. And here's the one that I was looking at. And I did this for every single one. So you need to separately have a different line for each one, but here's the name. It's the entity class. Okay. And so entity class goes here, brackets at the name. So what's the name? The name is this, so I'll copy that. Okay, great. And what property is it that I'm trying to change? I'm trying to change the property that's called mesh, which is how it looks in the game. And in the game, this is the mesh for the supply weapon crate. It's a loot container uh, crate that looks like shotgun messiah crate, um, typically. And I had decided that instead of that, value this is the changed part right instead of that value i want the value to be 
um, whoops, there you go. I want it to be the loop container, the Z pack red prefab, which I found in another file. So as long as it's another mesh and you copy it exactly, you can copy that and it will change what that looks like. And so make sure you have the end look like this, where it has these backslash set. And you can have this. And what I ended up doing was having this set copy paste and I did it like over and over and over and over again and I changed it for every single line so I did it for the supply weapon one supply weapon two three everything until every single file for the twitch integration spawns for supply crates had been turned into a red bag and that was the mod and I'm going to be posting that mod I think it's already on my discord um, but I'll be posting it I think as well to some other sites and I'll put the link in here if I do um, that way you can have like a file to reference, but you can do this same idea for other files. So entity groups, if you wanted to change, like say what normally spawns in the snow biome, hold on, I had made one. That's why I'm picking that enemy animal snow. Enemy animal snow. <laughs> Not a case. There we go. So say you wanted to change um, how many lions, mountain lions, spawn in the snow biome for whatever reason. You theoretically could do that. I'm going to create a file that's XML for entity groups, just like this. You're setting the X path to the entity groups because that's how it's called at the top. Which one are we editing? The entity group called enemy animal snow. And then what property are we changing? Um, you would change, oops, I need this to be slightly different. So you would take this entire property like this, and you would change it to, say I want it to only have two. And now that should replace that entire section with that. And that's how you would do it in theory. So um, I haven't actually tested this particular one out, so you would still need to test it. Um, it's just in theory, this is how you would go about doing and changing any file. Um, the entity classes one where I changed the drops bag, I have tested that one and that one definitely works. So I'm just giving you guys an idea of how to change files that already exist and you can go ahead and play with it and test it, of course, before you put it up someplace because that's you know basic but um that would be how you would go about solving that problem and i hope that helps for the people who've been asking in my youtube uh comments and please keep the comments coming if there's other things you'd like to see um that is how you would do this though thanks for watching bye